VBN, the Witch, video blog network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great top 10 list of everything and anything video blogs, and a whole lot more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014. On various social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 7.04 in the morning, Bellarmine, Massachusetts, on Tuesday, May 23rd, 2017. It's going to be a sunny day out today in Bellarmine, Massachusetts. 71 degrees, so that's normal for this time of year tomorrow. Another normal day, but back into the damp and dreary weather, which probably will last into the end of the month. But long range forecasts say the summer is going to be above average temperatures, a lot of hazy, hot, and humid days. We'll have to wait and see about that because you don't know with the jet stream where it goes. It could it could have the blocking pattern or we get wet and cool or it could be an average one where it's like 70s and 80s with low humidity. See how it plays out. Some news to report on the RVBN News. Why do 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 the Golden State Warriors beat the San Antonio Spurs, sweeping the the series four straight games. The Warriors have won twelve straight games in the playoffs, and they clinched a spot in the NBA Finals for third straight. Yeah, it's not good to have a team dominate the playoffs. In the NBA, it's just not good for competitive balance. But congratulations to the Warriors. Also, the Nashville Predators beat the Anaheim Ducks um, six to three, taking the series in six games. Nashville Predators clinched their first Stanley Cup Finals appearance. This is the 19th year as a franchise. So congratulations to them. The only NHL teams never to play in a Stanley Cup Finals are the Winnipeg Jets, Phoenix Coyotes franchise, the Atlanta Thrashers, Winnipeg Jets franchise, Columbus Blue Jackets, and Minnesota Wild. The fifth team will be added next year it will be the Vegas Golden Knights. I'm going to do a video blog tomorrow about which of those teams will make it to the Stanley Cup Finals first. And it's Happy World Turtle Day. And 18 years ago today, the King of Hearts, Owen Hart, the Black Heart, the Blue Blazer, passed away at the age of 34, falling 75 feet in the air to the ring in Over the Edge Page Preview, Kansas City, Missouri, with a stunt go gone wrong. Very sad day in wrestling history. And that's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do 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 back and flash with my first video blog subject today, which will be about former professional wrestler Keith Hart. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Roseblood of WCCO Rocks and has nice lad. Aria Woolley of WABI Channel 5 in Bangor, Maine has the best legs in Maine and Nikki D. Ray of um, CBS 6 in Roanoke, Virginia has the best legs in Virginia. Cute TV weather blondes. Some of them work for great CBS stations. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is my personality profile. Today's personality profile is about former professional wrestler Keith Hart. Keith Hart um, wrestled on and off in professional wrestling or the world of sports entertainment for 27 years. He came from the famous Hart family. He is the third oldest child of Stu and Helen Hart 
and he um, was an amateur wrestler to appear um, to appease um, st um, his father Stu Hart and he started his professional wrestling career on June 1st 1973 he was trained by his father Stu in the famous um, dungeon in the hot house that's the day on June 1st 1973 Heidi Klum's model and judge on Americans top got talent was born. That's an interesting fact, Jack. Anyway, Keith was only five foot eight and approximately he was billed as two hundred and five pounds. But you know sometimes with weight in professional wrestling it's greatly exaggerated. Keith was mainly a tag team wrestler throughout his career winning many tag team titles in Stampede Wrestling, which that's the territory that his father Stu Hart owned. He teamed with his brother Brett many times, winning Stampede Tag Team Champions. Also tag teamed with his brother Bruce. And also Keith wrestled in Puerto Rico and Japan. And he made infrequent trips to the United States. He also had some singles titles in Stampede Wrestling. He also feuded with the Diamond Knight Kid. And, and Keith actually st um, started to part-time wrestle in the 1980s because he took a text to go on the fire department in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. He was he got the test from one of his former son, I mean, brother-in-laws, Ben Barroso, who was also a professional wrestler at Stampede Wrestling, but he did not make it big to the WWE or WCW. He was mainly a Canadian wrestler. Um, Keith was on the Calgary Fire Department for 20 seven years and he retired in 2007 and he became a substitute teacher because Keith went to school for education but he could not find a regular te teaching job so he followed his, um, his, his father's footsteps in the world of professional wrestling. Keith made one uh, appearance in the WWE in 1993 in the famous hot Family Feud match, teaming with Bruce, Owen and Brett against Shawn Michaels and the Knights of the S Squared Circle. Three mass wrestlers were Greg the Hammer Valentine, Barry Hollowitz, or Jeff Gaylord at Survivor Series 1993. And Keith actually won lottery a uh, lottery in 1994 over $100,000. He used that money to campaign for public office in Calgary, but he lost in 1995, which was so surprising because Keith Hart, his name of the Hart family, he could have been a cinch to win it, win public office. Keith still um, is involved in wrestling. He trained some wrestlers. He actually appeared on a few documentaries of pro wrestling one about best there is best there was the best there ever will be wrestling with shadows and a few others keith was on on stage in 2010 to receive a, a um, recipient of Stu Hart going into the wwe hall of fame keith's wrestling career was okay but he never made it big like his brothers Brett and Owen because it's probably the small stat, his small size. He probably went on the grand major push in WWE or WCW. And that happens, but you know, Keith was, you know, a good good wrestler. And that's about it on him. I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Two more video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog will be about Universal HD TV, which 
is owned by NBC Universal, which is going to go off the air on July 15th of this year to would be replaced by the NBC Olympic Channel, which I need to do a video blog on that sometime in the near future. And the third and final video blog on that will be about Trevor Kolb Plaza in Bellwacker, Massachusetts. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Wells Blood, WCC, Alexa has nice legs. Elizabeth Hatzel, so, so sunny. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome, Amy. Then the Church of WPIX Channel of New York. Such a whacking cougars. Got the best legs in New York City. Bar none. Bob gives her ABC 11. Has a sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. When Claire of WHDH Channel 7 Boston. Has the best legs in Boston. Kelly Lee Maynard of NBC Connecticut is also awesome. Has the best legs in Hartford, Connecticut. And Heidi Watney of MLB Network is awesome. Best legs on the um, MLB Network next to Lauren Shahadi. Bye now.